Turning now to your community focus, could easing the pain at the pump cause other problems on the road? Well, here to talk about that and more, the director of the Rhode Island Department of Transportation, Peter Alviti. He joins us once a month here on 12 News at 4. Director, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me, Kim. It's great to be here. So there has been some talk recently about temporarily suspending the state's 34 cent gas tax to help ease the cost burden as fuel prices remain pretty high. But most of that tax, about 20 cents per gallon, goes to the DOT. So how would suspending that impact your agency? Very severely, uh, Kim. It's very concerning to us. Uh, look, we're aware here that there's a pinch on everybody for higher gas prices. But uh, the importance of this gas tax in terms of the work that we do here at DOT is very extreme. And, and we uh, receive about $80 million a year uh, from the gas tax to repair the roads, uh, build bridges, do all the work we do here at DOT. But the important thing about that $80 million is it enables us to use about $320 million of federal funding. Without that gas tax money coming here to DOT, we will not be able to use the $320 million of federal funding. Federal law and federal regulations require that states pitch in 20% of the cost. And that gas tax fulfills that ob obligation. Without the gas tax and without that $320 million, there's about $400 million worth of projects that will do things like pave 295, 114, will be paving um, uh, 146, uh, rebuilding a lot of structurally deficient bridges. That work will not get done without that $320 million from the federal government and the requirement to provide that additional $80 million from the state through the gas tax. So it's very vital and very important for our operations and uh, the improvements that we're making. And with all the improvements we've been making, it'd be a shame to see that come to a screeching halt. Yeah, so it sounds like you're not in favor of, of suspending the gas tax, but what about, you know, we've heard some ideas floated around, maybe a one day gas tax holiday or rebate program. Is that something you could get on board with? Well, as I said, look, as long as the uh, legislature found a way to backfill for every dollar that we lose in state funding through the gas tax, we're going to lose $4 from the federal government. That's about as good a deal as you get anywhere in government, because that $4 that we're getting from the federal government is money coming in from Texas and California and other states as a net positive cash flow to the economy of Rhode Island, and they are paying to help us fix our roads and bridges. So it's a good deal, and for every dollar we lose in state funds, we're gonna lose four of those federal dollars, uh, uh, and uh, that needs to be addressed, that will need to be addressed. Switching gears a little bit, Director, last week you announced the repaving of Aquidneck Avenue in Middletown, and you said the state is going to invest $422 million in paving projects like that one over the next five years. Uh, when we spoke this winter about potholes, you said part of the problem for us here in Rhode Island was inadequate funding for repair and replacement of road surfaces. So how long are these new roads expected to really last? Well, a long time. Uh, as a matter of fact, this Quidnick Avenue project that we're doing is one of about $90 million worth of projects we'll be doing this year and repaving. Um, that uh, Governor McKee asked us to concentrate on using the additional new funding that we're getting from the Infrastructure and Jobs Act to repair a lot of these deficient roads. The Quidnick uh, Avenue project We'll be reclaiming that road right down to its base and rebuilding it from the base up. So we expect that the new pavement will last for many, many years. It'll give people a smooth ride, but it's more than that. We're actually including new bike paths and new sidewalks in the area of the middle school out there on Aquidneck Avenue uh, that will make things safer for people too. Uh, so there's a there's a safety issue, there's a smooth riding issue. Uh, all of these are gonna be addressed uh, as part of this 
nearly $90 million that uh, the governor has asked us to spend this year on correcting the poor conditions on roads like Aquidneck Avenue across the state. That is all the time we have for today. Rhode Island DOT Director Peter Alvidi, thanks so much. Thank you, Kim. You have a safe week. And looking ahead to later this week, when Providence Mayor Jorge Alorza will be joining us live in studio for our monthly conversation with him on all things Providence that's coming up in Friday's Community Focus.